institutions, over 4,200 student athletes, achieving success in the classroom while excelling in 19 NCAA Division I sports and making a difference through serving others and giving back to the community. Determination, hard work, commitment, excellence, and collaboration. Together, we are Welcome back to the University Center Lion fans, and hopefully, uh, I'm not sure for those of you that are watching on the YouTube broadcast, the audio having a little difficulty there. We will get this thing figured out somehow or another. But anyway, it's time to meet the starting lineup for today's game, brought to you by Roof Crafters. Roof Crafters specializes in commercial and residential roof replacements. Uh, storm restoration, repairs, skylights, and more. Find out more online at theroofcrafters.com. And let's make the lineup for the Huskies under 29th year head coach Ron uh, Cockrell. So they'll line up this way at guard, a six foot four junior from uh, Durham, North Carolina, number zero, Ian Dubose. At Ford, a six foot eight senior from Christchurch, New Zealand, number three, Jackson Stem. At guard, a six foot one uh, junior from Houston, Texas, number 10, Ty Dahl. At guard, a six-foot senior from Selma, Texas, number 22, Jalen Gates. And at center, a six-foot ten junior from Westminster, Maryland, number uh, number 50, Ryan Gomes. Assistant coaches are Stephen Keith, Judd Kenny, and Keith Barrard. For the Lions, they'll line up this way at guard, a six-foot freshman from Palaka, Florida, number five, Byron Smith. At guard, a six-foot one senior from Reserve, Louisiana, number 10, Vaughn Julian. At Florida, a six-nine junior from Zizinchow, Senegal, Number 13, Pop Chop. At guard, a six foot, or excuse me, at, uh, yeah, at guard, a six foot six junior from Punta Gorda, Florida, number 20, Brandon Gonzalez. And at Ford, a six foot seven sophomore from Meridian, Mississippi, number 25, Todd Blue. So the Lions and the Huskies coming your way here shortly on the Southeastern Sports Network. I'm Chris Saline. As you see, the lights standing here at the University. Center. Lions gonna be in there.
Lee Southeastern with the basketball, and it's Byron Smith at the top of the key, and the Lions looking for the first buckets of the ball game. Well, uh, Smith gives it back up top to Julian. Julian backdoor pass to uh, Brewer. Brewer has it knocked out of bounds. It goes off his head, they say. It'll go back to the Huskies. Just underway, Chris Saline coming to you from the University Center here in beautiful Hammond, America. Good crowd tonight here as it's uh, jam, uh, jam the pack tonight as the Lions with uh, 300, the uh, first 300 students there uh, got free food tonight. So good crowd tonight. Pass to Dalton. Dalton gets it uh, down low, and throws it away, and they'll go back to the Lions as each team with a turnover to start the ball game. 43 seconds in, Julian will race it into the front court to the near side. Hands it off to Brandon Gonzalez. Gonzalez, far side over to Smith. Smith looking around. He will take a screen from Pop Jump. Dribbles it to the top of the key. Far side to Gonzalez. Gonzalez knocked it, had it knocked away on the entry pass by number 50, Ryan Gomes. But it'll stay with Southeastern as a foul was called. It'll go against Gomes as it was called for the reach in over the back. Julian will inbound it under his own basket on the far side. Not quite a minute gone by. Finds in the home uh, three tonight as this one lobbed in from Jock. Way up put up, no good, but a foul. I think that's two quick ones on. No, they're going to get this one on number 10, Ty Dalton, uh, Junior, Houston, Texas. So, Jock at the line. Yup, 51 of 91 from the free throw line for 56%, but he knocks down the free throw. What a terrific atmosphere here tonight at the University Center. Job second free throw. Lions looking for their fourth Southland victory of the season. Second free throw for Jop. This one rolls off the rim. Rebound cleared by Dubos. Dubos gets it up ahead to Dalton. Dalton working far side. Garner by Gonzalez. He's going to the free throw line. Then he penetrates. Kicks it near side. Gates he'll fire the three. That's in and out. No good. Rebound cleared by Brewer. Brewer to Julian. Lions pushing the pace. Julian back up top to Brewer. Brewer back to Julian. And I'm pretty sure we're going to see a track meet before this one's all said and done. Julian top of the key to Jop. Jop waves it around. Hands it far side to Gonzalez. They get it down low to Jop. Jop lost it out of bounds. I think that's going to be the game plan tonight for Coach Keeper and the Lions. Push, 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 push. And uh, playing full court defense as they usually do. Pass in bounds comes to Dubos. Dubos will push it into the front court. Been in the half guard line. Southeastern with a one to nothing lead after a free throw by Chop. Pass inside to Dalton. Dalton jumps to the free throw line. Then goes to the basket. Turn around jumper from 10. That one's no good. Rebound tipped up and it's cleared by Southeastern. And Brandon Gonzalez. Gonzalez up ahead to Smith. Smith working near side wing. Up top to Gonzalez. Fires the three. No good. Offensive rebound. Brewer. Brewer goes back up with it. He's it up to the end. Boy, well, by far the best atmosphere for the Lions here at home this year. As the crowd really into this one. 3-0 Lions. Dubos drives hard to the basket. Throws it away. And we'll go the other way. Good start for Southeastern on the defensive end as they lead 3 to nothing. Two minutes into the ball game. I want to thank those of you watching on the Southeastern Sports Network YouTube station. Those of you listening on 90.9 FM KSLU. Top of the key, Jop. Jop. Gets it down low to Brewer, turn around, jump, or that's good. Ty Brewer with four quick points. Lions lead five to nothing. You hear Coach David Keeper in the background encouraging his guys as Dalton will race it into the front court. Good defense by Gonzalez. Pass goes far side to Gates. Gates looking down low, goes back up top to Dalton. Dalton will make the three, drives hard right side, cut off nicely by Gonzalez. Back out to the three-pointer. This is good by Jackson Stint. And the Huskies are on the board. Five to three Lions with the lead. Julian to the top of the key, far side wing. He'll take a screen here in a moment from Brewer. Dribbles to the near side, goes back up top to Pop Jop. Jop looking down low, waves it around and hands it over far side wing to Smith. He'll fake the three, then dribbles to the free throw line, takes the free throw line jumper. That's no good. Rebound cleared by Dubos. Dubos will push it into the front court. And he'll dribble hard right side, cut off nicely by Brewer. Dubose gets it back near side. Gates, Gates fires the three and buries the three. Dang. Good ball movement. Six to five in favor of the Huskies. Julian back the other way. Far side over to Gonzalez. He'll drive baseline. Little, nope, gets it down low. Wide open to Chop. He misses the dump. But Gonzalez there for the chip. He can't get it to go. And then a loose ball foul going to be called. But the Lions with two point blank opportunities, and they miss both of them. 
but a foul is going to be called against Ryan Gomez. So Ryan Gomez, I should say. I think I'm actually getting the right going. Six to five, our score. Houston Baptist with the lead. So, Jop, free throw up, and this one is good. Game tied at six. Sixteen thirty-seven left first half. This one a lot of action here early as we hadn't even reached the first media timeout. Jop, second free throw. This one rolls in and out, no good. Rebound cleared and it's into the hands of Dubose who will race it into the front court. Far side wing. Dubose. Crossover dribble, trying to create, goes back up top to Stent. Stent near side to Dalton. Dalton throws it down low. That's number 32, Benjamin Yoloku, just checking in. 6'7", sophomore from Clemens, North Carolina. Three far side, no good for Dubose. Off, uh, rebound cleared by Julian. Julian gets it up ahead to the Brewer. Brewer drives baseline, with Brewer stop, put it down. Brewer throws it down, and he's got six. It's eight to six in favor of Southeastern. Dalton gets it down low, knocked out of bounds. So by Jop, they're going to say it goes off of the Lions. I mean, right in front of the media timeout. 16.02 left first half. Southeastern eight. Houston Baptist six. Uh, number two, Quan Murphy, six foot five sophomore from Cornelius, North Carolina, checks in. Pass comes in, foul to Yuloku. He'll give it back to Dalton. Dalton goes into the corner near side to Dubos. Hands it off down low to Yuloku. He'll back it down. He goes far side. Jalen Gates fires at three. That's good. Gates knocks down the three. It's a nine to eight lead. Houston Baptist next step ball to the first media timeout of the ball game. Julian to the far side wing. He'll take a screen from Brewer, then goes to the top of the key. Free throw line, then far side to Gonzalez. Left open for a three, and he'll take it. That's off the front iron, no good. Brewer offensive rebound. Kicks it near side to Julian. Julian down low to Jop. Jop goes up strong with it. Can't get it to go. Rebound fought for a foul. Going to be called. No, a loose ball. Uh, a jump ball possession now, but it still goes back to Houston Baptist. So the Huskies with the early 9-8 to eight lead at the first media timeout. We'll take a break and come back. Southeastern men's basketball right here on the Southeastern Sports Network. Houston Baptist with the early 9-8 lead over Southeastern after the first media timeout. Maxwell Starwood checking back into the ball game for the Lions after missing a game and a half as he got a concussion in the first half of Central Arkansas's game last Wednesday, but he's back. And the Huskies have the basketball. This one comes up top to Yuloku. Yuloku will hand it to Dubose. Dubose, conference's leading score, comes back near side gates, fires another three, and he drills it again. Lions went through this just the other night as UNO had uh, Bryson Robinson hit eight three-pointers, and uh, Gates already with three. This one down low to Stallwood. Stallwood goes up, traveled. Nope. So, Lions turn it back over. 14-57 left first half. Lions trailing 12-8. Dalton will bring it into the front court slowly. 
think the Lions definitely want to try to push the pace in this one. Even though it's a high-scoring team, I think the fast pace might bother the Huskies. Nice heads by Starwood. Do both drives right side. Might have gotten away with the travel. Again, throws it right into the hands of Gonzalez. Gonzalez up ahead to Smith. Smith lays it up left hand. No good. Rebound cleared. And this one goes back the other way. Dubose will lay it up. No good, but a foul called against Maxwell Starwood. That will be his first. So that will put Dubose at the free throw line to shoot two. Dubose, 75% from the line. First free throw back off, off the back iron. No good. 96 out of 128 for the junior. Dubose, second free throw coming. This one is off the back iron, no good, and Gonzalez will take it. And Julian will bring it the other way for Southeastern. Julian into the front court to the far side wing, gets it into the corner to Smith. Smith looking down low through Starwood, and goes back up top to Gonzalez. Gonzalez dribbles left side, goes hard to the basket, out of the strip, but gets it back outside to Julian. Julian drives into the lane, down low to Starwood. Starwood goes up with it, puts it up off the glass, no good. But there's Brewer, he can't get it to go. Lions miss two from point blank range. It goes out of bounds again. Lions having trouble finishing at the basket. 12 to 8, our score, as Jeremiah Saunders and Isaiah Curry will check in for Southeastern with 14.06 left in the first half. Houston Baptist by four early in this one. Inbounds pass to number two, Quan Murphy. Murphy into the front court, hands it back out to Dalton. Dalton to Dubose. Dubose working far side, hands it over to Gates. Gates dribbles left side, shut off nicely by uh, Kirby, but they're going to get a foul on the floor anyway. And Kirby will be whistled for his first. That is the second team foul against the Lions. So they'll take it out under the basket on the far side. Well, the Huskies, Dalton, comes in bounds to Dubose. Dubose working far side wing, gets it up top to Gates. Gates drives near side, comes over to Murphy. He'll fire the three. That one's no good. Rebound fought for. Starwood has it, but then it goes into the hands of uh, Brewer, and here come the Lions. Julian dribbles hard right side. Blocking foul going to be called against Dubose, and that'll be his first, fifth team to fourth team foul against the Huskies here. Lions should be able to get a chance to shoot a lot of bonus free throws here in the first half. We'll see. Saunders comes in bounds to Julian. Julian drives baseline. Then he'll change his mind. Comes back out to the top of the key and he'll reset the offense with 20 on the shot clock. Julian doubles far side. Takes a screen from Brewer. Lions getting a little stagnant on this possession. Julian then takes the three from the far side wing and drills it. Maybe that was just uh, designed. Julian lowered the defense to sleep, drills it, and it's a one-point game, 12 to 11. Houston Baptist, Dubose, far side wing over to Murphy. Murphy looking around and gets it into the corner of the Gates. Gates takes a couple of dribbles and goes back up to Murphy. Murphy down low to Yoloku. Yoloku left-handed layup up and good. Nice entry pass by Murphy to Yoloku, and it's a three-point lead for the Huskies as Julian will push it back the other way. You're just joining us. Lions in their home gray while the uh, – while Houston Baptist in their road orange and the jumper at the free throw line, no good by Julian as this one goes to Murphy. Murphy puts it up off the glass and lays it in. Nicely done in transition by the Huskies. It's a five point lead, 16 to 11. Julian into the front court, working far side wing. Gets it far side to Saunders. Saunders looking down low for Starwood, can't find him. And then he'll drive baseline and gets it in the near side corner to Julian. Julian dribbles in the lane, fakes it, little up and under move from 10. Pretty move by Julian and he gets it to go. Good footwork by the senior and it's back to three after Julian's layup, 16-13. Pass goes far side to Murphy in the front court. Murphy will take the screen from Yoloku. Lions have the trap, but they get it far side, they throw it away and it goes back to Southeastern. Good trap on the far sideline by Todd Brewer and Maxwell Starwood as freshman Nick Caldwell will check back in. Uh, Caldwell was originally uh, scheduled to be in the lineup, but uh, uh, David keeps going with Ty Brewer, the uh, leading uh, rebounder and leading scorer for this team. Uh, Brewer had come off the bench the last two games, so I don't think he would uh, go wrong either way there. So Brewer hands it in, bounce to Laquan Butler, who just checked in. Butler for Southeastern, six-foot guard, the sophomore.
Julian has it for Southeastern. He'll hand it off to Saunders. Saunders, and he gives it back over to Jop. Jop back to Caldwell. Caldwell, top of the key to Butler. Butler dribbles to the far side elbow. Goes back up top, Caldwell. Caldwell dribbles near side. Takes the jumper from the elbow. Offensive rebound by Saunders, but the shot clock expires as the ball never hit the rim, and it'll go back to Houston Baptist. The ball game here early on as the Lions and Huskies kind of seesawing early as Jalen Gates will bring it into the front court. Gates has started off pretty well, the six foot senior. With we'll get to him in here just a second. This one comes near side to Dubose. Dubose, wait, dribbles to the near side, goes far side to number three, Stint for three, and he buries it. Jackson Stint knocks down the three. And that's already five three-pointers here in the first half for Houston Baptist. 21-17, Huskies with the lead as Julian brings it into the front court. Julian, or oh, a lot of contact down low as this one goes to pop jump for three. That's no good. And what do we have? We're gonna get an offensive foul called against uh, Caldwell. And let's see, we double substitutions as Pop Jop and Jeremiah Saunders check out Ty Brewer and Byron Smith back in. Lions trailing 21-17 with 8-19 left here in the first half. No pressure full court. Pass comes in, bounds to, that's uh, number two, Quan Murphy. Murphy gets back to Dubose. Julian gonna guard Dubose. This one comes into the front court to Murphy. Murphy by, guarded by Butler. Pass near side to Stent. Stent looking down low for Dubose. Guarded closely by Julian. He'll try to back down on Julian. Here comes, uh, oh, what a play by Brewer. And he forced him baseline and Dubose stepped out of bounds. Pretty play by Ty Brewer. Won't show up in the stat sheet, but a very heady play by the sophomore to come in and help out with Julian, who's giving up three inches to Dubose. Into the front court, Smith dribbles to the far side, hands it off to Butler. Next dead ball takes us to the under eight media timeout. Lions trail 21-17. Brewer back over to Julian. Julian will dribble it back up top. Lions with the basketball. Julian at the free throw line, takes the jumper from the elbow and knocks it down. And the Lions cut it back to two. Lions just got to do a little bit better job on the perimeter guarding the three-point line. Stent dribbles in. He's cut off nicely by Caldwell. He'll give it far side. Gates fires a three. That's good. Six threes in the first half for Houston Baptist. 24-19. Julian, far side elbow jumper. That one's no good. Rebound cleared by Dubos. And here comes the Huskies. That one knocked away and stolen by Brewer. Brewer will slam it down with authority on the windmill. Boy, what a play by Ty Brewer, the steal and the windmill dunk, and that'll take us to the under eight. Media timeout, 7.06 left first half. Houston Baptist 24, Southeastern 21, back in a moment. This is Southeastern Basketball on the Southeastern Sports Network. Trailing this one by two, or make that three. After a big time play by sophomore Ty Brewer, as he got the steal and went down and windmilled it for the dunk at Southeastern. And Houston Baptist in a one possession game here, and I got a feeling it'll be a shootout. It's, it's this one will come and bounce to Gates. Gates will give it back to Dubose. Dubose gets it into the front court to Murphy. Murphy working far side wing. 
Murphy guarded by Gonzalez. He'll get this one back up top to Yoloku. Yoloku to Gates. Gates splits the defense, kicks it near side over to Murphy. Murphy back to Gates, fires the three from the near side wing. In and out, no good. Rebound tipped away, goes right back out to Gates. Gates fires another three and buries it. Unbelievable. Jalen Gates with his fifth three-pointer here in the first half. No, his foot was on the line, 26-21. So they'll call it a two. Gonzalez, far side to Caldwell. Caldwell back to Julian. Julian to the top of the key. Lions looking down low. They were trying to get it to Brewer with uh, Julian, but Dubos kicked it, and the Lions will get a new shot clock. 6.26 to go first half. Southeastern 26. Or, excuse me, HBU 26. Southeastern 21. Julian. Gets it inbound, back door to Smith, layup no good. Rebound, front four, and it's Smith who comes away with it. Lions will reset again. Nothing wrong with the effort for Southeastern in the first half, just gotta execute a little bit more. Smith, far side to Gonzalez, shot clock under 10. Out near the half court circle, Gonzalez drives hard left side, goes to the basket, kicks it far side to Smith. Smith up top to Brewer. Brewer will drive the three, it's off the iron, no good, and that will go out of bounds off of Southeastern. Well, I'll tell you, it looked good from my angle. I didn't realize it was that far right as it hit the side of the rim and goes out of bounds with exactly six minutes to go in the half. 26-21, Huskies. Gates to the top of the key. Gates can't find anybody. Goes far side to Murphy. They'll get this one down low to Yoloku. Yoloku spins, layup put up good, and one. So the Huskies with a seven-point lead here in the first half over the Lions. Uh, Starwood will check in. Starwood comes in for Caldwell, and that's where the Lions are size. Uh, you know, game after game, they're just running up. I mean, they're literally giving up 60 pounds down low tonight, so that's going to be a problem. But free throw up. This one is good for Yoloku, and it is a eight-point game. 29-21, largest lead of the half for the Huskies. Julian. Over to Gonzalez. Gonzalez back near side to Brewer. Brewer up top to Smith. Smith dribbles left side to the far side elbow. Can't find anybody. Then goes back outside to Julian. Lions having a little bit of difficulty getting the ball down low. Julian to the near side. Drives hard to the basket. Puts this one up. No good. Offensive rebound. Brewer put back up. No good. Rebound cleared by Dubos. Dubos will push it back the other way with a chance to make it a 10-point ball game as Dubose comes back near side to Gates. Gates goes down low with it to Yoloku. Yoloku almost had it stripped away. Far side over to Murphy, fires the three. That one's way off. No good. Shot clock reset and a travel call, but I'm not, uh, for whatever reason. Twenty-nine, twenty-one. but Southeastern got the ball back, but uh, had a shot clock reset there. The ball, did, the ball hit the shot clock. Anyway, 5.04 to go in the half. Lions trail by eight, 29-21. Julian, front court. Brought it closely by Gates. Lions trying to get a little bit of rhythm on the offensive end. Julian comes back near the side of Gonzalez. He'll fire the three from the corner. And buries the three from the corner. And it's back to five, 29-24 with 4.44 left in the first half. Pass comes in bounds to Stint. Stint will get it to Dubos. Dubos guarded closely. Then they get it into the front court to Gates. Gates dribbles to the top of the key, fires another three. That one's way off. Rebound tipped up. It goes right into the hands of Murphy. Murphy drives baseline. Shot blocked out of bounds, though, by Starwood. And the Huskies will keep it as... Isaiah Kirby will check in. 4.29 to go in the half. Lions trailing by five. So, we're going to take a look at the replay real quick and see if maybe it went out of bounds off of the Huskies. From my vantage point, it appeared that Starwood knocked it out of bounds. One of those times where I'm hoping my opinion is wrong of what happened. As the official taking a look on the near side, that'll give us a quick chance for a live read. The clearback policy to increase public safety. Southeastern Athletics has instituted a clearback policy for all ticketed athletic events. The policy mirrors the safety precautions taken upon entrance to professional and collegiate sporting venues throughout the country. More information about the new line clear policy is available at lionsports.net slash clear. 
The Lions game day experience app. Enjoy digital access to Southeastern player bios, schedules, live scoring updates, social media feeds, and much more. The new mobile app, which provides for custom notifications, support audio and video broadcast. is available for download in the App Store and Google Play. A download link is also available at lionsports.net slash app. And I believe the call is confirmed, at least from my vantage point, it looked like it was Starwood that knocked it out, and that's uh, apparently what the officials are going with as well, as it'll be Huskies basketball with Quan Murphy. No, actually, a substitution. Number four, Miles Pierre, six foot two freshman guard from Charlotte, North Carolina, checking in. On the floor for the Lions, it's Julian, Gonzalez, Kirby, Starwood, and Brewer. As this one comes in, bounce far side to Dalton. Dalton will dribble near side into the lane, kicks it back near side. Dubos fires the three. That one's good. Boy, everybody knocks down the threes when they come to the UC for some reason, and I don't think that's bad defense by the Lions. So, Southeastern trailing by eight with four minutes and change to go in the half. Julian dribbles to the top of the key, comes back near side. Gonzalez fires another three. That one's no good. Rebound. Kirby comes away with it. Good pass. Wide open down low is Gonzalez, and he gets the easy layup. Somebody blew an assignment for the Huskies. Dubose near side. Drives baseline. Kicks it far side corner over to Murphy. Murphy back near side to Dalton. Dalton drives baseline. Shut off nicely by Starwood. Dalton. Dribbles into the lane, kicks the top of the key. That's to number four, Pierre, for three. Offensive rebound goes back to the Huskies. Three-pointer again from the far side. That's Ty Dalton. It's back to nine. It's up to nine as Houston Baptist is <laughs> just like the privateers. They are draining three-pointers like their layups. Top of the key, Julian drives hard to the basket, lays it up off the glass. No good. Rebound cleared by the Huskies. That is now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three. Three-pointer near side, or pass comes near side to Dalton. Dalton drives in, and he's going to be fouled as that will take us to the under eight. Media timeout. Make that eight three-pointers here in the first half for Houston Baptist with 3.06 left. It's 35-26 in favor of the Huskies at the final media timeout of the half. We're back in a moment. This is Southeastern Basketball on the Southeastern Sports Network. Six left first half, Southeastern trailing by nine, and it'll be the Huskies basketball with 3.06 left, 35-26 here in favor of the Huskies. Miles Pierre to inbound, gets it up top to Yoloku. Yoloku back up top to Dalton. I just want to cut it to, you know, five points maybe by the half. Dalton dribbles to the top of the key. He'll back it out, and then comes back near side to Dubose. Dubose. Screen, nice stop by Starwood, but they get it down low to Yoloku. Yoloku shot blocked by Starwood. Offensive rebound put back up, no good, but there's Saunders to clear. Great defense by Ty Brewer. Not sure if he blocked it, but he at least changed the shot, and it's back in the hands of Southeastern with two minutes and 36 seconds to go in the half. Pass to Julian into the front court. He'll give it over to Starwood. Starwood working near the top of the key. Comes back near side to Gonzalez. Back up top to Starwood. Starwood fires a three. That one's good. Very pretty shot by Starwood. And it's back to six. 35-29 in favor of the Huskies. As this one into the front court. Juan Murphy working near side wing. Back up top to Yoloku. Yoloku. Goes far side with it over to Dalton. Dalton 
Dribbles to the top of the key. Nice job by Stallwood, the hedge, but then Dalton turns the corner, drives hard to the basket, shot knocked away by Brewer, but a foul call. Look, David Keeper talking to the near side official, wondering why, he doesn't agree, I don't either, but that'll put Dalton at the free throw line. Southeastern 12 of 28, 38 from the field for 31%. The Huskies 13 of 26 from the field, eight three-pointers. First free throw is up and it is no good. 10 turnovers already for Houston Baptist, but eight three-pointers will certainly help count, counteract that. 35-29 our score, Dalton second free throw, that's nothing but net. It's back to three possessions with two minutes and change to go as Julian will push it into the front court. 36-29, Houston Baptist, Julian dribbles to the near side wing. And he'll go back up top to Saunders. Saunders over to Brewer. Brewer gets it down low. Good pass down low to Starwood. He'll lay it up and in. 36-31. Good backdoor pass from Brewer. So, five-point game in favor of the Huskies. Pass far side to Murphy. Juan Murphy working far side back up top to Pierre. Miles Pierre, he will drop it off to Yuloku. Yuloku back to Pierre. Pierre takes the elbow jumper, no good. Rebound tipped up. Yuloku comes away with a shot put up good in one. What a play by Yuloku. I mean, he's just talking. He's a handful, 6'7", 265 pounds is Yuloku. And the and one coming as the Huskies lead 38. 31, shooting 50%, but it's not, it's not what, it's not what they've done inside that has been the issue for Southeastern tonight. It's uh, the Huskies are absolutely killing it from the three-point line. Free throw off the back iron, and this one is tipped up. Julian tips it, and it is one down by Julian. Nicely done, Julian. Outside, Gonzalez will fire the three from the far side. Turner and drills it. Boy, that's a big play. What a play by Julian to keep that play alive and get it in the hands of Gonzalez. 38-34. Dubos, top of the key with a minute to go. He'll dribble baseline. He's cut off nicely. Knocked away, and we're going to say kick ball called against. I thought, okay, they're saying, I thought it was against Dubo. They're saying it was against Southeastern. Okay. A minute to go in the half. Minute and three seconds exactly. Murphy to inbound under his own basket on the near side. This one will come in bounds to Dubose. Dubose goes back up top to Jalen Gates. Gates trying to get it down low to Yoloku. Yoloku knocked away and stolen by Saunders. Great play by Saunders. Up ahead to Julian. Julian three from the far side wing. Yes, sir! 38-37, Southeastern trailing now. Ball Julian with a couple of huge plays here toward the end of the half. Dalton races into the front court, drives left side, comes into the corner of Murphy. Murphy down low to Yuloku. Yuloku will back it down, stripped away by Gonzalez. Yuloku back up top to Gates. Over to Dubose. Dubose gets it to Murphy. The three from the far side, and that's good. Jesus, God, unbelievable. How many are they going to get from out there? Single-handedly kicking them in uh, this ball game. Nine three-pointers from Houston Baptist in the first half. Julian out near the half-court line. Shot clock is off. Lions will get the final shot of the first half. Julian with seven seconds to go. Time to go. All right, five, four. Julian takes a three, top of the key. No, that'll do it for the first half. So Houston Baptist with a 41-37 lead in the first half on nine three-pointers. Nine out of 17. So. But the uh, Southeastern is in pretty good shape considering. I mean, uh, they got off 13 more shot attempts. They forced the Huskies into 11 turnovers. So obviously uh, the Huskies not going to shoot 55% from the three-point line for the whole game. So just stick with what you're doing if you're Southeastern. Keep battling, and uh, we'll see how things do in the second half. But it's been a good first 20 minutes as the Huskies lead 41 to 37. We'll take a break and come back. There's a Southeastern men's basketball on the Southeastern Sports Network.
free throw line. Salvation out rebounded the Huskies 23-22. Uh, offensively, Gates with 14, seven points for Benjamin Yoloku, six for Jackson Stint, five for Quan Murphy, uh, three or four for Ty Dalton, three for Ian Dubos, and two for Miles Pierre. So Salvation doing a really good job against the conference's leading scorer, Ian Dubos, but uh, it's what everybody else is doing from the three-point line that's been the difference in this ball game for the Huskies, the uh, Huskies with 11 turnovers so far in this game, but again, you get 27 points from the three-point line and a half, you can certainly overcome some mistakes. Southeastern, 15 of 42 from the field, 5 of 13 from the three-point line, 2 of 4 at the free throw line, uh, 23 to 22, a rebounding advantage, 10 points for Vaughn Julian, 8 each for Ty Brewer and Brandon Gonzalez, 5 for Vaughn Julian, uh, two for Pop Jop and two for Isaiah Kirby. Lions with six assists, just six turnovers, and they've got five steals. Uh, Southeastern with 17 points off turnovers, 16 points in the paint, uh, 16 points in the fast break. So Lions, uh, you know, I mean, if you, you, if you scratched out that one stat, you would think they were up by 20, but uh, nine three-pointers certainly been a big difference in this ball game as the Lions looking for their okay 40 the scoreboard now fans the scoreboard saying 41 36 so I'm wondering who who had a three-pointer taken away we'll take a look uh, for those of you that are watching online or uh, listening to the broadcast the live stats as well also say 41-37. So I have to figure out if it's a four or five point game and I got a feeling the way this game's being played out, one point is going to mean a lot. But anyway, we will take another break. We'll come back. We'll take you around the rest of the conference, let you know what's going on there. And also uh, give you a couple of live reads and uh, take, uh, take you back through the first half again and maybe a few adjustments, uh, if any, that the Lions really need to make. I mean, I think they've done a pretty good job guarding the three. It's just that the Huskies keep making them. So we'll take a break, come back, talk more about the first half. This is Southeastern Basketball right here on the Southeastern Sports Network. University Center, Southeastern trailing Houston Baptist here at halftime, 41 to 36. I did get that confirmed over the break as uh, Maxwell Starwood's three was changed to a two during the half as uh, 
Apparently they said his foot was on the line, but anyway. Real quick before we get to some of the halftime scores, inside Southeastern basketball airs each Monday night, beginning, well, it uh, began on January 6th, but show number six will be this Monday. Inside Southeastern basketball with David Kiefer airs live from Rainbow Daiquiri's at 14384 West Thomas Street. Talk college hoops with Coach Kiefer and host Alan Waddell as they cover the final points of tonight's game against Houston Baptist and the... Uh, We'll cover the recap of University of Incarnate Word, uh, the ball game Saturday, and we'll preview upcoming games. If you can't join the crowd, you can submit a question at lionsports.net for the quote to ask the coach segment inside Southeastern Basketball airs each Monday night during the Lions Southland Conference schedule on the Southeastern Sports Network. So still trying to pull up this internet that's uh, giving me a little bit of a fit here. And... Uh, Take you through the rest of the conference scores for tonight as a couple of pretty good ball games tonight. So this one looks like it's going to be a pretty good finish as well. But um, anyway, so while we uh, get that loaded, for those of you just joining us, it's been a very entertaining first half. Both teams with exactly 15 field goals, but nine three-pointers for Houston Baptist uh, has the Huskies with the four-point advantage here at the half. And uh, so this is not bad from the three-point line themselves, five out of 13, but uh, nine for 17 for 53% for the Huskies as these two teams try to climb their way back in to the Southland Conference uh, tournament race. Right now coming into the day, uh, Houston Baptist at the bottom of the conference while Southeastern uh, in the 10th spot. But they're still... You know, eight games left, uh, including this one, as the Lions and the Huskies both uh, looking for a victory here tonight. And right now it's Houston Baptist with the lead here at the half. Again, I'm Chris Lane. I want to thank you all for joining us here at the University Center in Hammond, Louisiana. Those of you that are watching us on our Southeastern Sports Network YouTube station, those of you listening on 90.9 FM KSLU, our producer for tonight's broadcast is Isabella barnes Barlow. She's back at the KSLU studios. Thank you as always, Bella. I appreciate your help. And let's see. So, the... Wireless does not want to act up. Okay, there we go. We finally have gotten some updates here as the internet uh, slowing down on me here a little bit tonight. Just a, I think really going right technically on our, uh, on our end tonight, which is very rare, though. This is the first time this year there has been any technical difficulty whatsoever with the timeline, with the internet, anything whatsoever. And... Uh, Unlucky for us, it uh, all came on the same night. So anyway, while I pull this up, if you uh, all of you give me just one second. Lions with the 41-36 deficit here at halftime as these two teams are uh, trying to grind this one out. I got a feeling though you're going to see a little bit of a more low scoring second half. And, You'll see the Lions try to make this a dog fight on the defensive end. And it's uh, not that they're not capable of putting the points up, but I think you got to be careful if you're Southeastern when you're facing a team like Houston Baptist that clearly, I mean, they, they lead the conference in scoring, you know. And then if you, depends on what side of the equation you're on, you know. I mean, if you're a Huskies fan, you can look at it on the fact that they average 82 points a ball game, or you can, uh, if you're a Lions fan, you can look at it and say, well, they give up 99 points a game. But at the end of the day, that really means absolutely nothing for this one because obviously we've seen, that especially the last two ball games, the Huskies' defense has gotten a little bit better. I mean, they've allowed just uh, 82 points against, uh, or excuse me, 84 points against uh, the University of Incarnate Word in a uh, tough loss at home, 84 to 82, and then got the victory over Texas A&M Corpus Christi, 82 to 77. So, for whatever reason, uh, the Southland Conference scores have just not been updated at the moment. As we'll continue to try and get that pulled up, but real quick, Southeastern's Vaughn Julian leading the way for the Lions with 10 points, 8 points for Ty Brewer, 8 points for Brandon Gonzalez. 
five points for Maxwell Starwood. Make that four as his three-pointer got changed to a two for the Huskies. 14 points for Jalen Gates on four of seven from the three-point line. Seven points for Benjamin Yoloku. Uh, five points for Quan Murphy. Six for Jackson Stint. Two points for Miles Murphy. Or excuse me, four miles up here as these two teams with exactly 15 field goals each and it's a five-point lead for the Huskies. We'll take one final break, come back, and hopefully I'll have some Southland uh, results. And actually, here we go. So I do now have them before we go to the break. Perfect timing. Everything's rolling flawlessly tonight, Ryan fans. So, all right. So, here Looking for him to come up here in just a second. We'll, nope, we'll take a break. We'll come back. I'll have those scores, and then we'll get ready for the start of the second half as the technical problems continue to go downhill for us here tonight. But uh, anyway, break time here. Back in one moment, there's a Southeastern basketball on the Southeastern Sports Network. Welcome back to the University Center. Just about set to go here in the second half. Quickly, uh, quick around the, uh, quick look around the conference. Northwestern State leading Abilene Christian at home, 64-61. And just to give you a teaser on the rest of them, Lion fans and Husky fans, uh, nothing uh, going uh, as many may uh, have expect would have expected in a lot of these games. Uh, student up Austin leading Nichols, 50 to 45. Okay, nothing. Over the strange there. Lamar leading Central Arkansas 34 to 28. Uh, Houston Baptist over Southeastern 41-37. AM Corpus Christi over McNeese 38 to 27. And this one though is the one that uh, a little surprising to many around the league. University of Incarnate Word leads Sam Houston State 36-24 at halftime. The reigning Southern Conference regular season champions trailing UIW. We're ready to go here at the UC for the second half, and it'll be Southeastern's basketball. Julian dribbles to the far side, hands it off to Gonzalez, back up top to Smith. Smith will take a screen from Jop, then dribble to the far side. He'll go back up top to Gonzalez. Gonzalez goes down low to Jop. It's tipped away, and Brewer comes away with it. Brewer goes strong to the basket. Get a little fall away jumper. That's no good. Tipped up and fought for it. Tipped around, and it's Stent who comes away with the rebound. And here come the Huskies into the front court. It's Dalton. Dalton guarded closely by Julian. He'll dribble to the near side. Dalton backing down. Still the basketball. He'll dribble far side and comes back near side to Dubose. Dubose in the corner. The Stent left open for three. That's good. Ten three-pointers for Houston Baptist in this ball game. 
Gonzalez, far side to Smith. Smith will dribble to the top of the key. Looking down low. Hands it off to Gonzalez. Gonzalez crossover dribble back to Smith. Ten on the shot clock. Smith looking. Takes the three from the near side wing. That's no good. Rebound comes out long, though, and the Lions able to run it down, and Gonzalez hands it off back to Smith. Lions trying to convert. This one far side over to Gonzalez. Gonzalez near side three-pointer. This one is off the back iron. No good. Rebound far for a loose ball foul called against Gonzalez. Huskies looking for their first road victory of the season here on the road, and a good way to get one is when you knock down 10 three-pointers in the first 21 minutes of the ball game. Gates over to Dubos. Dubos will bring it into the front court as he's guarded closely by Brewer. He'll dribble into the front court, hands it near side to Dalton. Dalton back up top to uh, Gomes. Gomes far side to Gates. Gates dribbles it back up top. Comes back near side to Dubos. Dubos in the corner of the stint for three again. That's in and out. No good. Tipped out of bounds by the Huskies. So coming into the game, Houston Baptist was shooting 36% from the three-point line. Layup put up on the other end. It's good by Vaughn Julian. Put my head down for two seconds, and Julian took it the length of the floor for the layup. 44-36. 38, inbounds pass comes to Stent. Pressure in the backcourt by Southeast. They'll get it up ahead to Dalton. Dalton goes to the... ball game after uh, Pop Jop with the layup one and it's back to one the free throw line and this is uh and we're just gonna have to do the best we can with this tonight right now line fans uh the tie line is uh you know just like any mechanics you never know when they're gonna fizz out on you and that's kind of happening tonight uh Jop knocks down one of two it's a 44 42 game with 17 minutes to go Pierre into the front court for the Huskies it'll go back to Dubos lines really picking up their pressure defensively here through the first couple minutes it's a two-point game in favor of the Huskies Pierre Dribbles to the top of the key, cut off nicely by Smith. Comes back near side over to Dubose. Dubose drives hard to the uh, lane, then they'll back it out. Looking down low for Yuloku. Yuloku spins, layup put up, no good. Rebound fought for, it's cleared by Jop. Jop up ahead to Brewer. Brewer will go right side, he'll lay this one up, no good, but a foul going to be called on Dubose. He hit him on his elbow on the way up, and Brewer will go to the free throw line. So Southeastern starting to pick up the pace a little bit. 
And they've got a chance to tie this ball game as they've trailed by as many as nine in the game.
Ian Popper, uh, Ty Brewer, and uh, Jeremiah Saunders. So, the Huskies will take it out under the home basket on the far side. This one comes in, bounds out to McKenzie. McKenzie, far side to Dubose. Dubose working on Julian. Julian has done a terrific job on the conference's leading score. Dubose averaging 19.8 a game. Pierre drives right side, goes hard to the basket, gets this one down low, layup put up, and this one is good by McKenzie. 51-47 in favor of the Huskies as Julian will bring it back the other way. Julian into the front court. He'll dribble it to the near sidelines. Oh, back door, oh, threw it away. Boy, they tried to go to Brewer, but uh, a little bit of a bad pass by Julian. It's a turnover. Do both. Drives right side, kicks it down low to uh, Yoloku. Block call and a layup and one. Yoloku gets the layup and one. Bad call. Looks like Jop was set. He's done. So is the Lions coaching staff. That'll take us to the under 12 media timeout. 11.53 to go. Lions trail. 53-47, I believe. No, 51-47. So, no, it is 53. They forgot to change it on the scoreboard. So, we'll take a break and come back. This is Southeastern Basketball on the Southeastern Sports Network. Baptist leading 53, make that 54-47 as the 7-0-1 by the Huskies. This one into the front court to Kirby. Kirby down low to Jop. Jop spins underneath, layup put up no good, and a rebound cleared by Yoloku as this is getting kind of dangerous times for the Lions. Trailing by seven. Pierre working far side. He'll give this one back up top to Murphy. Murphy near side wing to Dubose. 11 and a half to go. Debo drives into the lane, kicks it back far side over to Murphy. Murphy drives in, had it poked away and stolen, but travel call ahead. So, before the steal, the travel call, then the Lions will get it back. Trailing by 7, 54 47, with 11.22 to go in the game. And Smith will check in, Saunders will check out. It'll be Gonzalez, Jop, Smith, Brewer, and Julian. Inbounds to Julian as the Lions try to make the mini rally. By no means insurmountable. Julian gets it over to Gonzalez. Gonzalez down low to Job. Job back out to Gonzalez. Gonzalez drives hard in. Layup put up and good. Pretty moved by Brandon Gonzalez. He's got 10. 11 minutes exactly to go. Houston Baptist with a five-point lead, 54-49. Dalton into the front court. He'll give it back over to McKenzie. McKenzie kills his dribble, gives it up top to Yoloku. Yoloku takes a couple dribbles back to Gates. Gates dribbles near side, fires the three from the near side and drills it. Good job. Number 11. Julian, far side to Smith. Smith. Back up top to Gonzalez. Gonzalez drives into the lane. Good pass, drops it off down low to Joppy. Lays it up, no good, but a foul. 57-49, Houston Baptist as they are continuing to light it up from the three-point line. Brandon. 
First free throw for Jop is up and good. So, when you're a young team and learning, uh, nothing's ever all that easy, and that's kind of what the Lions are seeing tonight, but I have faith that tonight uh, they're going to find a way to pull it off as the second free throw is good, 57-51. In favor of Houston Baptist. Full court pressure by the Lions as it comes to Murphy, and he'll bring it into the front court to Dalton. Dalton looking down low for Yuloku, but he'll keep it. Dalton dribbles to the far side, hands it off to Murphy. Murphy down low to Yuloku. Yuloku turn around, floater, puts it up and good. As Yuloku having, uh, it's just a tough matchup down low with all that size. Julian Hart. Drives hard to the basket, chop it up, no good. Offensive rebound goes back to Gonzalez. Gonzalez back out to Caldwell. Gonzalez to uh, Brewer. Brewer over to Smith. He'll fire the three from the wing, no good. Offensive rebound, put up and good by Caldwell. 59-53. Gates into the front court. He's got five threes on the night. Outside to Dalton. Lines trailing by six with 9.44 to go in the game. Dalton. Drives in, little floater from 10, that one's no good. Rebound, grabbed away by Caldwell, nicely done. Up ahead to Brewer, Brewer will lay it up and in. What a great pass by Vaughn Julian. It's a two possession game as the pace of this one picking up. Into the front court, this one knocked away momentarily by uh, Gonzalez. McKenzie, chop it up, no good, offensive foul. Let's go the other way, that's a big call. Big play by Southeastern, though. You're starting to see the Lions getting a little edge, knowing it doesn't matter if it's by one or 20. They just got to get this one and get that positive momentum moving forward. And uh, who knows what can happen? I mean, it's not easy breaking a uh, you know, losing streak. Not a big losing streak. Lost two games last week. But, you know, sometimes uh, you got to grind your way out to a victory, and that's uh, what the Lions trying to do tonight. 59-55 in favor of the Huskies. Pass comes near side. Gonzalez drives in, little fake, little floater, no good. Rebound, offensive uh, rebound. No, it's going to be a foul, a loose ball foul as Gonzalez was pushed in the back by Houston Baptist number two, Quan Murphy. That is Murphy's first foul, the 19th foul against the Huskies. Make that the eight, I'm sorry. One and one coming for Gonzalez. So Gonzalez, free throw up, free throw off the back iron, no good, loose ball, rebound, chased down by Gonzalez. Gonzalez drives baseline, gets it down low, layup put up and good by uh, Caldwell. Pretty pass by Gonzalez as Caldwell gets it to go. It's a two point game, 59-57 with 8.52 to go in the game. Starting to see the Lions get a little bit more edge. Uh, kind of having that look in their eye. I mean, that sounds kind of cli uh, cliche-ish, but getting more and more confident as this game winds down. Dalton has it in the front court for the Huskies. Pass goes over to McKenzie. McKenzie back up top over to Gomes. Gomes, top of the key guarded by Caldwell. He'll hand it off to Murphy. Murphy out near the half court circle with 10 seconds to shoot. Murphy drives left side, takes a jumper from the far side elbow. That's no good. Rebound cleared by Gonzalez. Brandon Gonzalez having a terrific second half. Julian into the front court. Ryan straight by two. He goes far side. Fires it three. No good. Rebound cleared. And the Huskies have it as McKenzie gets it up ahead to Murphy. Murphy lobs back door, but throws it away. That goes right into the hands of McKenzie. Shot put up, no good. Loose ball tipped out of bounds, and it'll go back to Southeastern. But, boy, the Lions almost, uh, Lions got away with one there. That one almost <laughs> went right into the, actually it did go right into the hands of McKenzie. He had the easy look from about eight feet, but uh, missed it. And that takes us to the under eight media timeout with exactly eight minutes to go. It's Southeastern trailing 59-57. We're back in a moment. This is Southeastern men's basketball on the Southeastern Sports Network.
like exactly eight minutes to go in the ball game. It'll be Southeastern basketball trailing by two, 59-57. Houston Baptist and Southeastern from the University Center here in Hammond on the campus of Southeastern. Julian has it at the top of the key. Pass back door to Gonzalez. Layup good and one. What a pass from Julian. Great finish by Brandon Gonzalez, and he'll go to the free throw line with a chance to give the Lions the lead. Oh, what a pass by Julian. You talk about threading the needle. So, Gonzalez at the line with a chance to give the Lions the lead. Free throw up, free throw good for the junior, and the Lions can set up their pressure. 60 to 59, Southeastern. And a timeout gonna be called by Houston Baptist as this is <laughs> gonna turn out to be one heck of a ball game tonight, and hopefully it'll be the Lions that can come out with a hard ball victory as we take a look at the individual numbers for Southeastern. They're getting a little bit from everybody as Ty Brewer and Brandon Gonzalez each with 13 points, Vaughn Julian with 12, eight points for Pop Jop, six points for Maxwell Starwood, four for Nick Caldwell, two each, for Laquan Butler and Isaiah Kirby as we take a look at the individuals for the Huskies. It's uh, Jalen Gates with 17 points, 12 points for Benjamin Yoloku. It's the three ball though that has been uh, the, you know, the saving grace for the Huskies as they have hit 11 three pointers tonight. Uh, 11 out of 22 from beyond the arc, and that has kept them in this ball game. Lions shooting 24 of 63 from the field. Huskies 22 of 47, Lions 38% shooting, 46.8 for the Huskies. Lions have forced the Huskies into 16 turnovers, committed just eight themselves as Houston Baptist will have the basketball coming out of the timeout with 7.49 to go in the game. And still nowhere to go with it. Dumas will throw it up ahead. It's thrown away by Caldwell. Great play by Caldwell. Caldwell gets it into the, uh-oh, can't find anybody, but does get it to Smith, and the Lions can set the offense up. Caldwell got caught in the backcourt without his dribble and was able to get it to Smith, fortunately. This one goes back up top to Julian. Near side, the three-pointer. This one's no good for Gonzalez. Rebound cleared by Dubose. 60 to 59 in favor of Southeastern, and the reach-in foul going to be called against Brewer. That's the team's fifth, the second on Ty Brewer. 7.25 to go, and the Lions with a one-point lead, 60 to 59, as Dalton will take it out on the end, on the sideline. Oh, the energy of the crowd here tonight at the uh, University Center has been as good as I can remember in quite some time. Top of the key to Gates. Gates over to Dalton. Dalton, near side to Dubos. Dubos, drives baseline, another foul called on Brewer. A couple touch fouls called against Brewer in the last Six seconds, that'll be the 16th foul. Third on Brewer. Brewer's still okay though. I mean, with seven minutes to go, just three fouls, but gonna have to be, I wanna pick that fourth one up anytime soon, that's for sure. Dubose has it underneath the basket for Houston Baptist. Lob pass comes in, bounds, but Caldwell can't quite come away with it. Yoloku gives it back out to Gates. 7-12 to go, 60 to 59, Southeastern. Gates comes near side to Dubose. Dubose. Looking for it, and he'll give it down low. Yoloku spins baseline, puts it up and good. Benjamin Yoloku with another nice move as Houston Baptist seesaws back in front by one, 61-60. Smith hands it to Gonzalez. Gonzalez far side over to Julian. Julian, look, at the top of the key, he'll take the screen from Brewer. Brewer, or Julian, back to Gonzalez. 15 to shoot, this one go to Brewer. Brewer free throw line jumper, and this one's good. Brewer knocks it down. Back and forth we go, 62-61. Dubose up ahead to Stent. Stent will lay it up, knocked out of bounds by Smith. No, they're gonna call a foul. Wow. He was certainly out of bounds off of Southeastern, but I, the contact I don't know about, but I don't have the best view from where I'm sitting. So Stent will go to the line. More importantly though, let's make sure the young man is okay. Regardless of which side you're on, if you, you know, if you think it's a foul, if you don't think it's a, a foul on Houston Baptist, if you make sure that Stent is not seriously injured and he appears to be okay, so 
That that matters the most, which is Stint's health, is good. So he'll go to the free throw line. Now we can all debate uh, if you're used to about to stand on a Southeastern fan, if that was a foul or if it should have been out of bounds. <laughs> so Stint shoots a free throw. This one is up and this one is good and we're tied at 62. Bob Jopp will check in for Caldwell. Boy, well, the you can see the intensity. Though. This is a big, big ball game for both of these teams. Stint, second free throw with a chance to give the Huskies the lead. This one off the front arm, but rolls home, and the Huskies seesaw back in front by one. Julian gets into the front court. The dribble on the other side, gets it over to Smith. Smith looking down low, throw it away. David Keeper wanting a foul down low against Houston Baptist, doesn't get it. And the turnover gives it back to the Huskies as Dubose throws it away. And it'll go right back to Southeastern. So both teams, oh, wait a minute. The uh, first out official saying it was tipped by Southeast. No, okay, never mind. Thought they were gonna change the call, but it is Southeastern's basketball. Underneath their own basket, looking to take the lead. Julian looking, gets it in bounds to jump. He'll go back to Julian. Julian, top of the key. Gonzalez fires the three and buries the three. That is big. 65-63 as we wind down on six minutes to go. Front court to Dalton. Dalton will drive. Baseline. And he is cut off and he double dribbled. And Rixie Woody. Nope. Offensive foul called against Dalton. What a play by Byron Smith, and the Lions get it back with 6.11 to go. Boy, how nice would a seven to nothing run or something like that be right here? Game's been way too close for the Lions' comfort for the better part of this, ooh, the entire game. 65-63 Lions. Smith, top of the key, hands this one to Gonzalez. Gonzalez, new side to Brewer. Brewer will hand it back to Julian. Julian. Top of the key, comes back near side. Gonzalez again for three. Gonzalez, no good. Rebound, Job. offensive rebound, no. Foul called against Job. Bob Job gets the whistle, and that's gonna be Job's second. That'll put the Huskies at the free throw line on the other end. Oh wait. So the Lions are on one, and did the, what do we got here? So it is a foul on Jop, and that puts Yuloku at the free throw line. One and one for the Huskies. Huskies trailing by two. Obviously, uh, Brewer and Jop underneath the basket need to make sure to block out here. See, uh, with a miss on the one and one. Let's see, first free throw, Yuloku. This one is up, this one is no good. Rebound cleared by Brewer. And Brewer will keep it himself and try it into the front court. And then he'll hand it to Smith. Smith. And a timeout going to be called by Southeastern with 5.47 left. Lions leading this one 65 to 63. Let's take a look around the conference. Let's see, did they say they're going to the full or? They're going to the full, but I don't believe that's the final media timeout, so we'll stay with it. An upset alert. Actually, not an alert. It is an upset. Northwestern State defeats Abilene Christian 73 to 69. Stephen F. Boston over Nichols 70 to 64. Lamar leading Central Arkansas 65 58 with 3:33 to go. Obviously, this one here is a barn burner with the Lions leading Houston Baptist 65 or 65 63 with 5:47 to go. And. A.M. Corpus Christi leading McNeese 55-49 at home, 5.45 to go in that ball game. And uh, UIW leading Sam Houston State 56-55 with 3.53 to go. Again, the Lions will be in San Antonio to face UIW Saturday afternoon. I'll have that one for you right here on the Southeastern Sports Network. The game tips off at 4.15. So that means we'll be going on the air with the fight song at exactly 3.59. For those of you that enjoy the one-minute fight song, be sure you're there at least two minutes before four. So 
Pass comes in, bounce to Smith. Smith back to Gonzalez. Gonzalez over to Jop. Jop back to Smith. Lions with half of a shot clock to go. Five and a half to go in the game. Over to uh, Gonzalez. Gonzalez back near side to Smith. Smith to Jop. Jop fakes the jumper, takes the jumper. Makes the jumper. It's a two-possession game. 67-63, Southeastern with the lead. Full court pressure again. That comes in bounce to Stent. Stent will give this one back out to Quan Murphy, and Murphy will bring it into the front court, guarded closely by Smith. Murphy to the far sideline. Knocked away by Smith. He's got it. Turnover and a foul going to be called as it went right to Ty Brewer, who would have had the easy dunk, but the foul call, that's a smart foul by Quan Murphy because that would have been an easy two for the Lions, and that will put Byron Smith at the free throw line to shoot the double bonus, and I do not mind seeing Byron Smith at the charity strike whatsoever. Smith on the season, and God don't let me jinx him here, but uh, Smith's shooting 72%, but when it counts, he's drilling him. Free throw up, free throw. No good. Okay, well that officially puts me in the position where I will never, ever, ever speak about free throws for our guys in a positive manner again. I have not learned my lesson yet on that. So, Smith, free throw is no good, and he'll go back to the line. Look pretty good from here, just rolled in and out. 67-63, Lions by four. Smith's second free throw, make that five as he gets this one to go. Lions with a five-point lead with five minutes to go. Dubos in the backcourt. He'll bring it slowly into the front court over to Miles Pierre. Pierre gets into the far side corner to McKenzie. McKenzie back to Pierre. Pierre back to McKenzie. McKenzie guarded by Gonzalez, who's probably been the second-half hero. McKenzie hands it back to Dubos. Ten seconds to shoot. Dubos guarded by Brewer, drives right side, gets it near side to McKenzie, he'll fire the three, and this one is no good, rebound, man, that's going to be a foul called against Byron Smith, he pushed him in the back, correct call, I saw it from here, unfortunately, so, that'll put the Huskies at the free throw line, one and one coming, how about the 68 shot attempts for Southeastern? I'm going to have to look that up during the timeout. See when the last time the Lions got that many attempts off. 68-63. <laughs> Pierre, front end of the one and one. Good. 68-64, Southeastern. Lions have done a spectacular job on leading score, uh, conference leading score. Ian Dubos, he's got just five points, but... He's also got seven assists and 11 rebounds, so credit to the junior for Houston Baptist being an all-around player. Both free throws good. 68-65, Lions with a one-possession lead as Smith walks it into the front court with four and a half to go. Smith hands this one off to Gonzalez. Gonzalez back near side to Julian. Julian takes a screen from Jop. He'll dribble to the far side. He'll go up top. Gonzalez fires another three from the top of the key. Yes! Oh my God, how many big shots is Brandon Gonzalez gonna hit tonight? It's a six point lead, 71-65. Dubos into the front court, comes near side to Pierre, draws baseline, goes up with it, lays it up and in. Pretty move by Pierre. Brewer up ahead to Julian, the track meet now late in this game, pass near side. Smith left wide open for three. This one's no good, off the front iron. 71-67, Lions with the two possession lead. Next step ball will take us to the final media timeout. Pass comes near side, over to Gates. Gates, top of the key, over to Yuloku. Yuloku, far side wing, over to McKenzie. McKenzie, top of the key to Gates. Gates drives in, takes the jumper from the elbow, and that's good. Oh boy, back to two. 71-69, pass and bounce to Julian. Julian, Every time, it uh, needs to be Julian every single time the rest of the way. Julian to the far side, he will slow it down. Just whatever happens, this, uh, Julian will be the guy if you're southeast. Oh, what a pass down low to job, layup, no good. It's tipped away, and it's cleared by the 
Huskies, and that'll take us to the final media timeout. 3.13 to go. Boy, I mean, a great look away pass by Julian to top the top. Couldn't quite convert. Then the rebound cleared by Yoloku. He'll be shooting free throws with a chance to tie this game. When we come back, 3.13 left. Lions clinging to a two-point lead. This is Southeastern Basketball on the Southeastern Sports Network. to go in a nail biter and then some. 71-69 Southeastern leads Houston Baptist and just another night in the Southland as this one's going to come down to the wire and I know I sound like a broken record because I say that every night. That's pretty much how it goes usually. And it'll be Yoloku at the free throw line. Double bonus time. Free throw up. Free throw good. And he's a free throw away from tying this ball game. Whew. I think it's safe to say the thrilling finish is upon us, fans. Second free throw is good. And I say thrilling because if you're a Houston Baptist fan or a Southeastern fan, uh, one of the fan bases is going to be thrilled with the outcome of this one. Game tied at 71 now. Gonzalez comes near side to Julian. Julian, top of the key. Julian dribbles hard right side, goes in. Shot blocked by Yoloku, and then it's into the hands of the Huskies, and a foul going to be called as this will be Pierre shooting. Vaughn Julian called for the foul, and that will put Pierre at the line for the double bonus. Lions, or Lions and Huskies tied at 71 with 2.54 to go. Pierre's first free throw rolls off the iron, no good. Well, they always teach us in broadcast school you want to be uh, as professional as you can and even kill, but I got a feeling that's going to be tough down the stretch of this one. Second free throw is good as Houston Baptist leads by one. 72 71. Smith into the front court for Southeastern. He'll hand it off to Gonzalez. Gonzalez has had the hot hand in the clutch. Hand here in the second half. Over to Brewer. Brewer back to Julian. Half of a shot clock remaining. Julian to the top of the key. He's looking for somewhere to go with it. Well, shot clock down to 10. Two and a half to go. Julian out near the half court circle. He'll take the screen from Gonzalez. Julian doubles to the basket. A little floater from 10. No good, but a foul going to be called. And that'll put Julian at the line. And that's the right guy. For Southeastern, as this was going to go against Miles Pierre. Julian with 12 points and six assists for the ball game. First free throws of the game, though, and they couldn't be any bigger. Julian's first free throw is up. It is nothing but net. We're tied at 72. This game uh, between these two teams last year was a heart stopper as well as Southeastern with the 70 to 67 win at Sharp Gym in Houston. Uh, Ian Dubos will have a, had a chance to tie that ball game as time expired, but his three pointer was off the mark. Second free throw, that one's in and out, no good. Game is still tied at 72 as Dubos comes into the front court. Pass comes near side to Gates. We come up on two minutes to go in the ball game. Yoloku up top to Pierre. Pierre comes back near side to Dubos. Dubos 
Fakes the three, got it close to by Smith. Dubose goes in, left good and one. Golly, big play for Dubose and a three-point opportunity coming. Big free throw coming here with two minutes and seven seconds to go. Well, first team preseason all conference, uh, Ian Dubo said he had, maybe he hadn't been racking it up on the offense again tonight, but she had a feeling that he was going to make a big play, and that certainly was. Free throw is good. It's a three point lead for Houston Baptist. A reason to panic if you're the Lions. 2.07 to go, trailing by three. Smith to Gonzalez. And Gonzalez loses it into the hands of Dubos. Dubos lays it up and in, and now that's a problem. It's a two possession game. A couple of big plays by Dubos. 77 72. Smith into the front court with 146 to go. Smith working near side, takes a couple of dribbles. He'll fire the three from the near side. That is no good. Rebound cleared by the Huskies, and it's into the hands of Ian Dubos. Uh oh. Dubos, top of the key, comes back near side. It's knocked away and stolen by Smith. Here come the Lions. Smith drives hard to the basket. Layup put up and good. Boy, what a big play by Byron Smith. 77-74, uh, Southeastern Trails. 119 to go. Dubos will bring it into the front court, guarded by Brewer. Not sure what the uh, Huskies have planned here. Dubos drives in. Kick to far side, three-pointer, Miles Pierre. That's no good. It goes over the backboard, but the offensive rebound to Dubos. Dubos will get it back out. That's a huge offensive rebound. It's a three-point game in favor of the Huskies, and they have the basketball with 56 seconds to go. So... Lions need a stop and a three as the Huskies with a chance to pick up their first road victory of the season here, which uh, will be a tough one for the Lions to say the absolute least, but we'll see. Still a lot of time to go in this one. Let's see if the Lions have some magic. Anyway, real quick. So, if uh, UIW and Sam Houston headed to overtime, that was uh, tied at 62. And in Corpus Christi leading McNeese, 66-53 with two minutes to go. And uh, tomorrow for Central Arkansas, 74-67. That's a final. Stephen at Boston defeats Nichols, 70-64. And Northwestern State defeating Abilene Christian, 73-69. So the Lions will need a stop here in a bucket as they uh, trail by three with 56 seconds to go. Huskies have 16 to shoot, so the Lions they play this out. No reason, obviously, don't have to foul, but a bucket, uh, basket here would certainly make things difficult for the Lions. So Dubo, so inbound on the near side. It'll be, let's see. It'll be Jalen Gates, it'll be Miles Pierre, it'll be Yoloku. Oh, where to go with it, Dubo, Dubo, can't find a timeout or did he five call? No, timeout. So Dubo does call a timeout and no. Uh, Talk it over again, but give you the reset. Both teams in the double bonus. 56 seconds to go. Houston Baptist with a three-point lead and the basketball. As Ian Dubos, the uh, first team preseason all-conference, scoring five straight points to break a 72 all tie with two minutes to go in this game. And now the Lions find themselves, I, mean, I don't want to say in deep trouble, but certainly going to have to make a play here on this possession and uh, see if they can uh, get the mini rally and come away with the victory. Dubose. 
Can't find anywhere. Gets it in bounds to Yuloku. Yuloku back to Dubose. 13 seconds to shoot. Brewer all over Dubose. Dubose. Brewer. Dubose drives hard to the basket. Kicks it over. This one will float it from 10. It's an air ball. And that'll do it. Shot clock expires. So Southeastern will get it back with 40 seconds to go. Great job defensively by Southeastern. They're going to look at it, but I don't think it matters. The shot clock expired, so it doesn't matter who the ball went out on. Oh, they're saying, what, one second on the shot clock? So, okay. So the officials are saying that there's going to be at least one, there's one second left on the shot clock, but they're going to take a look at the replay to see whose basketball it is. That play, I, I don't know, that, that thing happened so fast, I guess. <laughs> so, this is a huge call, obviously. I mean, one second to go, there's not a lot you can do, but uh, there's certainly enough time for a catch and shoot, even with just one second left. So, the, hopefully it'll be Southeastern basketball here, and and go down on the other end and make something happen. 77-74, Houston Baptist. They've come in tonight, and uh, the three-pointers have really done them uh, justice tonight as they have knocked down 11 for the ball game. And yeah, strange game, to say the least. Southeastern has gotten 74 shot attempts up in this game, but uh, just have made 29 of them. But all that, uh, all those stats can be absolutely irrelevant if the Lions can come away with a victory. So they're taking a look at the monitor to see exactly what the call is going to be, I think, based on the initial look that it may end up being the Huskies ball with one second to go. That shows what I know, Southeastern basketball and the shot clock is irrelevant. So, Lions will have it, trailing by three. Don't, uh, not, uh, don't necessarily need to get in too much of a hurry on the three. I wouldn't be opposed to somebody just going straight to the basket and then forcing the Huskies to knock down a couple of three, or free throws. Pass goes over to Gonzalez. Gonzalez gets it down low to Brewer. Brewer kicks it into the corner of Smith. He threw it away. And then it goes right into the hand, and then Pop gets it back. So Chop has it. Julian dribbles into the lane. Julian will float it from 10. That's no good. Rebound cleared by Pierre with 17 seconds to go. And the Lions now in a lot of trouble if the Huskies can knock down these free throws. So a couple of free throws, a couple of huge free throws coming for the Huskies here with a chance to win their second straight ball game and more importantly their first conference or their first road game of the entire season. So the free throw coming for Pierre and he knocks down one of these. That really gonna make life difficult for the Lions. Free throw up, free throw's good and the Lions in a world of trouble now trailing by two possessions with 17 seconds to go. Huskies with the lead. Second free throw, Pierre drills them both. It's a five point game. Brewer looking, gets it in bounds to Julian. Julian will race it into the front court. Lions in desperate need of a basket. Brewer, three pointer near side, and it's no good. Offensive rebound, Jop. Jop goes back up with it. That's no good. Jop back up with it. That's no good, but he's fouled. But a lot of time came off the clock. It's five seconds to go. And the Lions now need a miracle. Huskies look like they're about to come away with a victory here on the road over the Lions. So Drops free throws up, and this one is good. 
So, uh, it, I mean, if Jop knocks them both down, it's not over. I mean, Huskies have to knock down at least one of two free throws, so if he knocks this one down, then the lines will foul immediately, of course. Jop's second free throw, this one is good. So that does keep the window open a little for the Lions. Timeout gonna be called as the Lions staring a really tough loss right in the face as they trail 79-76 to Houston Baptist here at home. Difference in this game, though, is going to be those 11 three-pointers that the Huskies hit as the, uh, you know, it's tough to overcome that. And now 14 of 20 from the free throw line. Lions 12 of 19 from the charity strike. Largest lead was nine for Houston Baptist, six for Southeastern. Lions had a 71-65 lead, and then the... Huskies went on a 12 to 1 run. As they took a 77 72 lead, and the Lions have been playing uphill since that point with two minutes to go. So the inbounds pass. Debo's looking. This one comes in. Bounds. Brewer steals it. This one will go to Smith with three seconds. With two. Smith fires the three. Puts it in. No good. Three-pointer no good, and the Lions fall 79-76 to Houston Baptist as the Huskies pick up the first win of the season on the road as the Lions just cannot catch a break, Lion fans. So, tough night for the Lions as they drop this one 79-76 to Houston Baptist. We'll take a break and come back. This is Southeastern Basketball on the Southeastern Sports Network. these lines or kids would roll out. This is not. Lion fans as Houston Baptist comes into the University Center and stuns the line 79-76 as uh, 11 three-pointers for the Huskies. A little bit too much to overcome for the Lions as they got uh, 19 points from Jalen Gates to lead the way. Uh, 19 points for Southeastern to lead the way. We'll get to the stats later, though, as we're joined by assistant coach for the Lions, Patrick Schulte. And coach, uh, just kind of one of the... Uh, it just kind of seems like tonight's a little bit of a microcosm, man. I mean, you know, we play hard. We did some good things. But 
you know, you get a team that comes in and does something they haven't done all year, and that's hit, you know, 11, 12 three-pointers, and they just, they do it against us. And I didn't think it was necessarily bad closeouts on the defensive end. I mean, I, I don't know, man. I, I, I'm going to give it the floor to you and see if you can help put it into words. Yeah, we let Gates get a couple open looks early, and then that stuff can be contagious when, when uh, a teammate sees him put it in. Now you got a guy in Jackson Stent who shoots about half a three a game in league. He knocks three of them in. After the first one, we have to adjust, and we just didn't close to him. Uh, but we didn't do a good enough job on Gates early. He saw two or three go in before that first media, and they just kind of rode that confidence throughout. You know, we continue to talk uh, in all these post games kind of about the quote-unquote process. And obviously this was one that you'll, you know, kind of probably looked at a few weeks ago and said, okay, we can find a way to get this one. It didn't happen that way. It is what it is, but... You know, let's you know talk about the, the learning curve that has been this year. You know, games like this or the type of games that next year and year after you look at and you go, okay, this is one that you're probably going to win by 15 points when you've got experience and not 10 freshmen. You know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah, I mean you look at the you look at the box score. We forced them into 23 turnovers. We're able to shoot 23 more balls than they are. They only out rebound us by five. We out rebounded them on the offensive end by nine. We put ourselves in all the right positions. We just couldn't couldn't make shots tonight. Six of 24 from three, 25 percent. It's hard to win games uh, when you can't make shots. Um, in terms of the process, I thought I thought we approached the game right. We mm -hmm. we did what we wanted to do. We kept them out of transition. We did a, a pretty good job of keeping them off the foul line until late. They do lead the league and uh, and free throws attempted. So I thought we did pretty good there until late. Uh, just couldn't make shots tonight. Yeah, no doubt about it, man. Real quick. Uh, Heading on, heading on the road uh, Saturday to uh, face a, you know, very difficult uh, UIW team that's in overtime as we speak with Sam Houston State at home. Uh, how much uh, have you seen from them, and, you know, what do we expect? I um, I actually do not have the Incarnate Word Scout, so I have, ah. not, I have not watched much of them. But uh, before I get off, I would like to send our thoughts and prayers. Dean Bomber, our director of scouting, lost his grandfather this past weekend, so just thoughts and prayers are with the Dahlum and the Bomber family, and um, um, just best wishes to them through this time, and anything we can do to help them, I'm going to try to do. Yeah, no question. I'm glad you brought it up, man. I mean, this game was so intense, never got a chance to really go there myself, but, uh, you know, for those of you that don't really know Dean, uh, you know, one of the assistant coaches, you don't see as much of him as you do Coach Keeper and everybody else, a fantastic human being, his, fa his mother, Cindy, everybody associated with them. Uh, they're still listening to the broadcast. We certainly love you guys and wish you the absolute best. A safe travel back then, and uh, hope everything goes well this week. So, uh, But, uh, Coach Schulte, I appreciate it, man. All we can do is keep fighting game to game, man. It's only a matter of time before this team is, uh, you know, figures uh, things out moving forward, even if it's not this year. You no, know? So. no question. Keep moving, uh, keep moving forward. The sun's going to rise in the morning. We'll get back to work in the morning. No question. Well, listen, man, I appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, Southeastern men's assistant basketball coach Patrick Schulte will take a two-minute break. We'll come back and wrap this one up from the University Center as the Lions fall 79-76 to to Houston Baptist. Back in a moment.
report. Houston Baptist defeats Southeastern 79 to 76. If we take a look at the final box score numbers for Houston Baptist, 19 points for Jalen Gates, 16 for Benjamin Yoloku, 11 points for Jackson Stent, 10 points for Ian Dubose. Uh, Dubose as the uh, Huskies shoot 27 of 55 from the field for 49.1 percent, 11 out of 24 from the three-point line, 14 of 20 from the free throw line. They out rebound the lines 45 to 40. 14 assists on the 27 uh, field goals. They turned it over 23 times, but again, you know, when you're, you're raining threes like that, the 23 turnovers are kind of negated. But uh, Southeastern, that's a pretty good work uh, as they spread it around. 19 points for Brandon Gonzalez, 15 for Ty Brewer, 13 for Vaughn Julian, 12 for Pop Job. And uh, credit to all, Ian Dubos, a uh, heck of a night, though. I mean, we talked to him, 10 points for him, but he also had seven assists and 14 rebounds, but nine turnovers as well. So Southeastern did a really good job against him tonight, but uh, the 11 three-pointers just a little bit too much to overcome. But, uh, you know, again, we this team, it, it, it's just a process. Uh, it happens. A lot of teams go through stuff like this where you got to – uh, a lot of freshmen, a lot of new guys are trying to mold. But uh, Lion fans, I'm telling you, stick with this team. Uh, it may not necessarily end up being this year before they get things turned around. But by the ne next year and the year after, I mean, this team is being built into an absolute monster. And I, I can't wait to see what this team is uh, going to look like in the future. But uh, and it's still eight games left in this season. So I, I, I refuse to throw in the towel on these guys until they are mathematically eliminated from the conference tournament. But uh, obviously uh, they certainly their hits uh, of postseason play certainly took a big hit tonight. But uh, uh, let's see, for Southeastern, uh, team-wise, 29 of 78 from the field, 6 of 24 from the three-point line, nine of uh, 12 of 19 from the free throw line. 40 rebounds, 11 assists, 11 turnovers, 10 steals. They got 36 points off of Houston Baptist turnovers, 36 points in the paint. Uh, let's see, 23 fast break points, but again, 11 three-pointers. That's uh, the difference in this ball game. The Lions outplayed the Huskies in every other phase of the game except the, uh, for that. So, uh, tough break for the Lions, and they will move forward and try to uh, get uh, – a victory on the road Saturday at the uh, University of Incarnate Word. But we're out of time, fans. Uh, real quick, though, before we wrap this one up, uh, this copyrighted broadcast of Southeastern Basketball may not be retransmitted, reproduced, rebroadcast, or otherwise distributed without the express written consent of the Southeastern Louisiana University Department of Athletics. The executive producer of the Southeastern Sports Network is J.R. Teagues. Our associate producers, Ola Adeboye and Andrew Bishak. Coordinating producers, Damon Sunday and Colton Vickers. The audio producer is Todd Delaney. Our director for the Southeastern Sports Network broadcast is Jamie Wright. Studio coordinator for tonight's broadcast uh, is Isabella Barnes. Father, I'm Chris Lane. Reminding you once again, your final score, Houston Baptist 79, Southeastern 76. We'll see you Saturday afternoon at 4.15 as the Lions take on the University of Incarnate Word in San Antonio, Texas. Thanks for watching and listening to Southeastern Men's Basketball. Good night from the University Center in beautiful Hammond, America.